Hello, my name's Gordon Robb and I'm a mathematics tutor. Today I want to talk to you about online tutoring for maths. Online tutoring is becoming very popular and it's not hard to see why. If you're looking for a tutor, you're no longer limited to finding one who lives near you. Maybe there aren't any, or perhaps they're all fully booked. Today you can access tutors anywhere in the world, and no one has to travel. Now, you might be thinking of more traditional methods of tutoring, like student and teacher sat at a desk together, like at school. I want to show you how I work with online students and give you a feel for how effective it is, and for you to see that it really is as good as being sat in the same room. We don't need much equipment. I have a desktop PC, a microphone, webcam and speakers, and a digital pad and pen to write on an online whiteboard. Other combinations are available, but that works for me. So let's take a look at how I use these. OK, so the first thing we need is a way for the student and I to speak to each other and to see each other. And I use a little product called Zoom. Um, it's free. Uh, very easy to use, has incredibly good um, audio and video, video quality and it uses very little bandwidth so it's absolutely ideal for tutoring. When I take on a new student I simply send them a web link. Uh, the first time they click on that Zoom asks them to download some software. It's not very big and it doesn't take very long. Um, once that's done, they the first time they go to use Zoom they come up with this box and all they have to do is to click join a meeting and uh, my room I, I have a specific ID for my room and all they do is type it in here let's just put one in for uh, for illustration and uh, click join and up comes uh, this box just click uh, join audio conference by computer and we're in. Um, obviously, we have a camera. Like, uh, there's a chat window if we need to exchange any any written data, um, web links, names of mathematicians or references. I want to go want the student to go and look up. Um, we can also share a screen, and we'll we'll, we'll take a look at that uh, later. So, but for the time being, let's get rid of that. Okay, so now we need uh, an online whiteboard. And uh, the product I use for this is called Bitpaper. It's very simple, really good. It's free, and there's nothing to download for um, the student or I. Um, again, with the new student, I send, simply send them a web link, and they click on that. And when they do that, they're taken straight to the whiteboard. And we can use this in a variety of ways, obviously the traditional way is to is to write um, on it so what could we do we could um, for instance uh, maybe I want to explore some algebra so um, I could write that and get the student to to solve it or to work through it with them maybe I want to work on expanding brackets and uh, I can simply write one out and demonstrate how to use uh, for instance, FOIL to, to, to simplify this. There we go, x times x, x squared, x times negative 3, negative 3x, 4 times x, 4x, 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12, and then simplify. So we've got x squared uh, plus x minus 12. Maybe I want to look at... Um, triangles and finding the area of a triangle and we've got drawing tools there they're really useful um, I can open that up and uh, we can look at just labeling the triangle a b c a b c and then look at the uh, how to find the area uh, what's that that's a half a times b times the sine of angle c there's A, B, and C. 
No, we don't have, just have to draw on the board. We can also uh, import various objects to the board. So let's look at doing that. Um, what I can do, I've got here preloaded um, uh, one of the new sample papers uh, for the new A-level. And uh, I've just picked this question. Maybe I want to work through this question with an A-level student. So what, I've got an app here which uh, enables me to, to snip that question out. Let's just uh, do that and get rid of that. And I can simply drop it into the board. Resize it if I want to. Uh, that's what's fine as it is. Move it over there, drop it in, and we've got plenty of white space to work on the question. At exam time, maybe we want to work through a whole paper. Um, so I've actually got one preloaded here. I've got the same paper, in fact. So let's just let's just pick another question. Let's pick this one. I can drag and drop that in. Uh, just move it about where I want it. Double click, drop it in there, and uh, we can work on the whole question. And it, it looks rather like the exam paper will, so it gives them a feel for what to expect. Um, on the next page, I've actually uh, pre-prepared uh, a lesson on circles using the drawing tools in, in bit paper. So the space here for the student to um, fill in, to label the parts of the circle and to write down the equations for finding the circumference and area. On the next page, I've found a picture of the five platonic solids on the internet and uh, using that snipping tool I've cut and pasted that uh, into this page and uh, maybe I want to look with the student at the relationship between the, the, the number of faces, edges and vertices of the platonic solids and that's quite easy to do with, um, with the, these see-through pictures but we needn't actually stop there if you remember I've got the Zoom app. Let's bring that up again down here. Um, remember, I've got a webcam, so I've actually got models of the uh, of the all five platonic solids. So we can look at those in in three dimensions. Whilst I've got the camera up, let's uh, look at something else I can uh, do with that. Here, I've moved the camera to the desk because uh, I want to work on uh, some practical skills with a with a student. Um, for example, using the, the correct way to use a protractor to measure to measure an angle, or with doing compass and ruler constructions. And in this case, I want to illustrate how to bisect an angle, um, and it's important for the student to be able to see how how it's done properly um, before they can go away and practice on their own. And that's quite as easy as you can see to do uh, using the camera. Let's just complete that. There we are, we bisect to the angle. You'll remember I said uh, that Zoom has this facility here to share a screen and uh, the effect of, of clicking on that is to open up my entire desktop to the student, uh, rather like you're seeing now. And that opens up a whole world of, uh, of other possibilities. Let's just take a look at our, uh, two or three things. Uh, one of the uh, apps I really love uh, with students is called Desmos. It's a graphing um, calculator. And here I've set up this um, graph uh, basically to see the effect of adding a constant to the x squared curve. Um, it's set at um, a the constant on the end is set at zero at the moment. So uh, that's just the x squared curve. and um, Changing the value of A to positive moves it up, negative moves it down, and it's a it's a it's a it's a, a useful tool to to illustrate uh, what happens with graphs when we do uh, different things to them. Maybe I want to look at calculator skills with a uh, with a student. I've got a, an emulator for one of the new uh, breeds of Casio calculator favored at A level now, um, and we can look at various functions on that. Um, finally, uh, maybe we want to look at a, a video of uh, something. I've found a video on bearings from the Corbett Maths website. I can click on here and uh, we can sit back and 
let someone else explain how bearings works. That gives you a flavour of some of the things we can do. Finally, at the end of the lesson, the student is going to want to take a copy of what we've done in the lesson on bit paper. And that's very simple to do. There's an export to PDF button here. We just click on there, prepares that, give it a, a title like lesson one, press print, and um, there it is saved for the student to keep forever. I hope I've managed to show you how well online tutoring works and that the technology makes it really easy. Remember, I've only shown you how I work. Other tutors have different setups and use different software. But we all share a common aim, to provide the very best quality of teaching to our students. I hope this has been useful. Do take a look at my website and if you think I can help you, get in touch today. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.